Hi guys, I'm Mr. Colabelli. I'm your social studies teacher. Um, sorry I couldn't be here today. Um, I'm in, got pulled into another meeting. So some of you have already been in my class and you saw how that worked. Um, it's very open, very student led. Um, I like to have an open classroom. So let's go ahead and learn a little bit about myself and a little bit about how the classroom uh, mechanics work and how I do assignments and things like that. Um, obviously, welcome to social studies. Uh, a little bit about me. This is me. Look, you can see I'm double pictures now. Um, so this is me. Um, I'm married my high school sweetheart. We got married on September 13th. Uh, been together a long time now. Um, we like to travel. Um, you can't see the picture underneath my my uh, video here, but that was us in a helicopter ride. But we've been all over the place. Um, we've been to Alaska. We've been on to Florida. We're going to Nashville in March, and we're going to Charleston, South Carolina in June, which is a, going to be a really fun place for me to visit because there's a lot of history there in South in Charleston, South Carolina. So um, that'll be fun. So we do like to travel and, and see the world together. Um, we have three kids. Ryder is our oldest. He is a 18 year old. He graduates this year. So in like three months, he'll be graduating. Uh, four year little man in basketball, um, three year starter. So that's our oldest. Our middle one is Grady. He's 16. He's a sophomore in high school. He's an offensive guard in football. Um, and from this picture, he's actually put on about another 15 to 20 pounds of muscle preparing for football next year. Um, our princess, our youngest is Haley. She's 16. She's a sophomore in high school also. She's number one in her class with a 4.0 GPA, and she was a point guard on basketball. Right now she's on JV, but all plans point to her playing on the varsity level next year. Um, she plays varsity a little bit, but she doesn't really get in. Um, she's just there for the experience. All right, we do have two Siberian Huskies, Rocky and Adrian. They like to snow. Um, so whenever, somehow they know as soon as one flake of snow comes out of the sky, they know it's time to go outside and play. I don't know how they know that, but they do. Um, we also have four cats, Oliver, Miles, Callie, and Loki. Loki's our oldest. Um, Callie is three and Miles and Oliver just turned one. So that is our household. Um, it gets kind of busy around here, as you can imagine. Um, some fun facts about me. Um, where do I live? I live right there on the little red dot in Jefferson County, Ohio, in a town called Smithfield, where cows outnumber people. Walmart's 25 miles away, and the shopping mall is 45 minutes away, like the nearest target is 45 minutes away. Pittsburgh's about 90 minutes. Um, you'll hear me reference Pittsburgh a little bit um, from time to time if I we reference cities or something. I think I might have done that today in class. Um, so that's that's where I am. Uh, how my class works, this is the nuts and bolts of my class. Um, started a class, I started five minutes early. That is your time to go get something to drink, get prepared, get any notes that you might need. And at this time, too, you guys can talk to each other, right? Um, you guys can talk. You can find out what you guys did, um, you know, what you're doing later on that day, all that stuff. Um, that's your time, uh, five minutes, as long as it's school appropriate, that's your time. Um, whenever I start class, I always start with CNN 10, which is 10 minutes of uh, current events. It tells you the what and lets you know and lets you determine what you believe, right? They don't tell you uh, one side or the other. They tell you the whole, the whole picture and let you determine what you believe about it. Um, that is for bonus points. So you can get one point per day just by telling me what CNN 10 is about. If you can't make it to live class, it is in my modules. So you can click on that link and still get your bonus points. Um, and you can do that five times five times every week. So you can get five bonus points just for telling me what CNN 10 was about that day. Um, that is only available for the day, the week that it's assigned. So what that means is you are not going to be able to submit CNN 10 for last week. You can only do it for the current week we're on. Um, I like this quote a lot, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Albert Einstein said that. I don't think it really makes a difference on if he said it or not. I just like the quote because I don't want you guys to stop questioning anything. So if you're in class and you have a question, you know, we were talking um, today about the immigration 
from compared from today in in 1850s. And if you had a question about it, like why are more people coming today, or why are people coming from Mexico, or or whatever it might relate to, ask those questions. Okay, never stop questioning uh, what's going on. Uh, the other thing, I like I said before, we have an open classroom. It's student directed learning, so mics are open, the cameras are on, and that's all for you. It's not mandatory. You do not have to go on camera if you do not want to. You do not have to open up your mic if you don't want to. Um, it's all just open for you guys, and it's just to be respectful. Okay, that's that's the big thing. Um, let me move myself up here. Um, that's the big thing where I just want you to be respectful. And my number one rule is don't be a goofball in class. And if you think you're being a goofball, more than likely you are. Uh, so that's my one, my one and only rule. The other thing that I want you to uh, pay attention to is your assignments. So if you look on my modules, all modules are broken down into weeks and then days. Every module will have a due date, which you can see right here is the due date. Work due by January 27th, and you can see how it's broken down into days, and it shows you, you know, you're going to do this work on Monday, do this work on Tuesday. Um, so that's how my modules are broken down. Uh, if you wanted to know what the icons meant, a rocket ship means a quiz or a worksheet, pencil and paper means a net puzzle assignment, a link or glasses is an external link to watch or read. New thing this uh, semester is that on Tuesdays, when you have asynchronous days, that means work on your own. Um, you will have a video that is optional, but is going to be um, about what we're learning that week. So if you don't get by, if you don't learn by reading and you learn by watching something, that's something you can watch, and that'll help you uh, get more of the lesson plan as well. A paper clip is a file that can be downloaded. It's usually reading material or a study guide. Um, every week I do give a study guide out for the quiz that comes up and I do review on Thursday for the quizzes and all my quizzes are on Friday. So that's the pattern that I go in. All my quizzes are on a Friday. Um, Ed puzzles and assignments, if you're not familiar with those, they're very, very easily um, easy that you just watch videos, you answer the multiple choice questions, but you have to watch it to the end, not just answer all the questions. If you don't watch the Ed puzzle all the way to the end, then it will not send me your score. So make sure you watch it all the way to the end and then it automatically gives you me, gives me my score, okay? And you can do homework assignments as many times as you want. I will only take the, I will only take the highest score. Uh, I do not require screenshots for any assignment. So everything is done and sent to me automatically. You do the work, I get the grade. It's as simple as that. Um, no need to screenshot stuff and attach stuff or anything else. Um, bonus work must be completed before the due date. That's essential and important. I do not accept late bonus work. Okay, that's the only late work I do not accept. Um, but bonus work is cannot be completed past the due date. Um, another Albert Einstein quote. It must have been an Albert Einstein week for me. Education is not the learning of many facts, but the training of the mind to think. And that's why I give you different ways to learn in my class, not just by listening to me talk not just by looking at the PowerPoint, not just by watching a video. Um, there's multiple avenues of ways that I want you to get your mind to start thinking. And I want you to use whatever works best for you today. I want you to use it tomorrow. I want you to use it in the future, right? And that's where I want you to get your mind to train so you know how to think and how, to, how you retain that information. Um, how to contact me is real simple. I will contact you through Canvas email. It's really, really simple. Um, that's how I want you to contact me as well through Canvas. Um, have your parents reach out to me either through Canvas or my regular email, or they can give me a, a phone number or a phone number. They can give me a phone number. They can give me a call on my phone, um, which is listed there as well. But everything is listed on the homepage for all my information if you needed to contact me. Um, and that's all I got. So again, I'm sorry I couldn't be there today. Um, I got pulled into another meeting for ACT testing coming up in March. And I, I apologize, but I look forward to seeing everybody um, later on tomorrow in, in class and Friday. And if not tomorrow or Friday, especially on Monday, I look forward to seeing you all. Bye-bye, guys.